gather around, I got a story to tell about a tough old lady that I know very well. Her name was Brownie Wise, and she has changed all our lives through modular mates, citrus squeezers, and even knives. <laughs> Hello, everybody! Oh, Hello, my name is Peter. <coughs> How are you all on this fabulous Friday night? Guess what I'm doing tonight as part of the cooking? Yes, it is a launch party. We've had another, quite a few people join the Hidden Treasures group this week. So well done. Celebrate good times. Come on. Yes, indeed. Guess what I'm doing tonight? I am going to do, stick around, it's going to be a lot of fun. I hope it's going to turn out. I'm going to do, there was such an amazing interest for the red lentil coconut dal, hello dal, that I did in the Tupperware pressure cooker. I'm going to do that again. And I've got some tofu that's cooking in the Micro Pro grill that I've done in a little bit of soy sauce. And I'm also going to have a crack at making my own homemade muesli bars because I make my own homemade muesli, all right? So let me step out of the shot. Let have a look. I try to just change the display all the time, all right? So have a look around. We've got a few good, good old favourites that are watching, all right? So, kia ora across the ditch, how are you? Hi, am I? Have a look around on the display. Now you might remember, oh, we've got a little bit of a, um, <laughs> there's a little bit of a hole up there. We should have double checked that before I went live. There we go, put a little bit of colour up there. You might have a look and you might go, oh yes, I know some of those. Oh, I'm familiar with that. And oh, I've never seen that. What is, what is that? Is that, oh yeah, I might remember, might remember those a little bit. Oh, they look like they're new. There is a lot happening right now. So remember, as we go along, let me know you're watching by saying, hello, how are you going? G'day. Um, kia ora, howdy, doesn't matter where you are on the planet, you can order Tupperware so long as you've got an Australian address, then Melbourne, the warehouse in Melbourne, will deliver to any residential address, any post office box, any business address, or Australian Post parcel locker, alright? Now, it doesn't matter whether you're watching this on my own personal profile or in somebody's Facebook VIP group, the link is going to be up the top to place an order, all right? So make sure you use the link of whoever's group you're watching. If you are watching um, through mine, then my link is in my bio, all right? Let's get into it, right? Let's get cracking. I'm going to, a lot of people have been asking me about this lately and have sort of been going, you know, is it worth it? Will I, will I use it? Yes, you will use it. I've got two of them. There's the other one. <laughs> There's the other one up there. I literally have two of them. Everything you slow cook, it takes four to eight hours to do. This will do in 20 to 30 minutes. It truly is a one-pot wonder. You don't cook, you just assemble. You throw everything in there. So if you're doing silver side or pulled pork, or I can do a whole chicken from raw to cooked in 25 to 30 minutes, right? Whether you're doing risotto, soup, stew, curries, casserole, um, stewed fruit, veggies, um, mashed potato, eight-minute chocolate cake, puddings, um, this will do the lot, all right? Now, it comes in the base and the top, all right? Now, with the base, actually, you'll see there's a minimum line. So if you are doing, like, potatoes for mashed potato or you're just doing all of your, um, you're pressure cooking your veggies uh, instead of boiling them on the stove because you want to lock in the nutrients, the flavour, the colour and the texture and this will do all of that. So you just need 150 mils of water, which is half a cup and a tablespoon, right? Whether you're doing stewed plums for plum jam, whether you're doing potatoes for mashed potato, potato and parsnip, or if you're just doing all of your veggies, you can pasta, just a couple of cups of water with some pasta. You can cook your macaroni cheese in here, not a problem, right? So there's a minimum line and a maximum line. Just keep the food in between the two lines, right? Really easy. This is where the interesting piece is, right? Now, when you lose the instructions, all the instructions are on the inside here. Can you see them? So you don't have to keep looking for the booklet, right? <laughs> now, this here, this is the, um, it's like a, I don't know what they call it. It's like an O-ring, like a gasket sort of thing. That fits snugly into there, and that helps seal the top onto the bottom, so it does become a true pressure cooker, acting on all the health benefits of pressure cooking your food, right? Now, in here, up the top here, there's a few more safety features. It's some safety features! <laughs> You've got 
there's a pressure indicator. When the pressure indicator is working, it goes into the up position. When it's finished working, it'll go into the down position, and you know it's safe to remove the cover when it goes into the down position, all right? When you plop it across over here, this is your steam release valve, okay? So if there is a buildup of steam, the steam just slowly escapes through that steam release valve, all right? And then here, this is the safety arm. It's a safety arm. Locks everything into place. Now, look at this. It's really simple. See the arrow here? Can you see the arrow? Turn it that way to take the cover off. Turn it that way to pop the cover on. And there's an arrow on the other side over here, right? Now, they just line up with the two arrows on the top. So there's an arrow here, and there is an arrow right here, and then that's how easy it is, right? I digress. I'm, let's get into cooking, because I'm a little bit hungry, all right? I am literally going to cook up red lentils. Grab the tab, you grab the tab, you peel the seal. That's going to extend the life of your seal, all right? Now, grab my red lentils. I'm going to grab my measuring cups. I love the Tupperware measuring cups. You get a set of six instead of four, so you don't have to measure out three quarters. You've got a three quarter cup. You don't have to measure out two thirds. You've got a two thirds cup, right? So I'm just going to grab a one cup measure. When I'm doing my red lentils, I actually do, um, just like jasmine rice, I do one cup to two cup, one part lentil, two part water. That's what I do. Everybody has their own recipe, right? And I like this because it sort of turns out like mashed potato, but it's a high protein, non-animal, like it's a non-animal protein, high protein, right? Low fat, high protein, and it's absolutely delicious. Wait till you see the flavors I'm gonna to add to it, right? There's one cup, one cup of red lentils, and you can wash that and rinse it and drain it if you like. I'm not going to bother. <laughs> Right, so I'm just gonna pop that into there. I'm literally gonna throw in one part lentil, two part water. So instead of using water, I've just got some coconut water. Yes, coconut water. I'm just going to do that straight into here. Measure up. There's my one part, and there is almost my two part. So I'm gonna grab my speaking of coconut. This is the reusable coconut shell filtration jug from Tupperware. In here, there's a reusable filter so it doesn't end up in landfill. And all you do is you just pop in the coconut shells and so it's biodegradable. You just pop them into there. When it's done, you just tip it into the pot plant or out onto the lawn and away you go, right? So I'm just going to top the rest of that cup measurement up with water. Pop that straight into there, Miss Jay. These are, they're the coconut shells. They're reusable. Oh, that? Okay, so we'll pop them straight into there. Now, the fun part, right? There, yes, there is a fun part. I'm going to show you. This is, what is this I might hear you say? No need to ask, it's a smooth chopperator. It is a smooth chopperator. All right, what I'm going to do is, there's your blades. They're curved so that you actually get more of a cutting action from a curved blade. And one pull of the cord is something like 288 knife chops, so it's way faster than any chef in your own kitchen, right? There is an anti-slip grip on the bottom. You just remove that if you're going to pop it into the dishwasher. Apply that um, when you are using it, and that'll help stop it from sliding around on the bench top when you're using it, right? So, there are measurements up the side. And Tupperware do say, respect the fill line. So if you're whipping cream, respect the fill line. If you're chopping potatoes, carrots, sweet potato, respect the fill line, and it will last you, all right? Now, people often say, how do the blades get blunt? Um, well, depending on how often you use it, yes. And then they'll say, well, how do you sharpen them? Just grab a bag of rock salt, throw your rock salt into there, Pull the blades up, that'll sharpen the blades, and there you've turned your rock salt into table slot, table salt, and it's a win-win for everybody, all right? Okay, I digress. I've got, let me grab my other knob. I've got some, a big knob of turmeric, root turmeric, that I've just chopped into a few pieces. We'll pop that into there. There I've got some knobs of ginger, some root ginger, and I will literally, woo, I will pop that straight into there. Now I'll grab my Mastro Asian inspired knife from Tupperware and I will, can you see down here? If you're watching this on Facebook, just put your finger on the video so it opens up so you get to see what I'm doing down here, all right? Now, I love that. It's like a cleaver as well as a chopper. So this is my garlic. I've got one, 
two, three, <laughs> four, five, and we will throw in another one. Here we go. Six and one, one more, because I live alone and I can. <laughs> So there's seven cloves of garlic. I've got an onion. I've just halved that. It's just a medium brown onion. I'm just going to chop that into chunks. And that is there. Chop that into chunks, just into quarters. So chop it in half and then chop it into quarters, just roughly, because all I'm going to do now is throw on my, my favourite Spotify playlist. <laughs> get the blood pumping. And uh, you can get a cardiovascular workout happening at home, save on gym fees. And so this in here is literally onions, seven cloves of garlic, ginger, turmeric. Oh, you know what? Almost forgot. I've got some chilli. I just popped my chilli in the, this is the clear mates, I love them. Half an onion, half a chilli, half a lemon, half a lime, half a banana, half an apple, a tin of baked beans, a tin of sweet peas, a tin of sweet corn, a tin of salmon, a tin of asparagus, um, a tin of spaghetti. Any 440 gram can fits into here perfectly. And actually, it doesn't matter whether you're a wholesale customer or a retail customer, you can actually get a set of four of them absolutely free when you have an online or in-home Tupperware party, all right? So, I've just got my chilli. I'm just throwing in a chunk of chilli. Seeds and all, because I don't mind a little bit of heat, or a bit of garlic skin. I don't mind a bit of heat at all. If you don't like the heat, remove the chilli seeds, or chilli is optional, but in my house, chilli is essential, just like seven cloves of garlic, <laughs> measured with love from the heart, all right? Shake that up just a little bit, just a little bit. Now, that's five pulls of the cord. So if you just want like a rough chop, can you see that there? There's your rough chop. I want this, oh, that's quite a rough chop. <laughs> that might need a few more chops, all right? So, that's five. Shake it up. Do the other side for luck. And that is a little bit more like it. Now, let me take the blades out. Pop the blades upside down, Miss Jane. So all the mess drops onto here instead of all over your bench top and you're not going to cut yourself on your blades, all right? So we're just going to pop that straight up there so it's out of the way, all right? Now, awesome. How is that? Onion, garlic, ginger, turmeric, chilli. You should smell that, right? <laughs> we are going to pop that straight into here. Let me grab my Tupperware spatula. Somewhere over the ring. Oh, it's a very spicy. I'll tell you what I want, what I really, really want. All right, pop that straight into there. <laughs> pop that into there. Literally, that's it. We are going to just give that a bit of a stir. Make that through. How awesome is that? I don't know if you can see that. Red, one cup of red lentils, two cups of coconut water, which is really one and three quarter cups and a couple of tablespoons of water. Ginger, turmeric, garlic, chilli, onion. You can throw whatever you want into there. I'm going to line up the arrows. You've got a bit of a twist. Lock that into place. And instead of standing at the stove top, stirring it while I'm missing socialising or reading a book or watching Netflix and chilling, I can pop that into my microwave oven for 25 minutes and my red coconut lentil, my red lentil coconut dal will be done. Let me pop it into the other microwave oven. Right. And I'm going to pop that in. Now, in here, in my MicroPro grill that I've prepared earlier, because what I'm going to do is, what happens is afterwards, jot down your questions as we go along. If you see your friends that's watching, say g'day to them. Let me know where you're watching from, because when I'm finished, I'm going to pop online and I'm going to answer everybody's questions for you, all right? Now, this MicroPro grill, I've just got some tofu that I've just grilled. I just threw in just a touch of, of um, soy sauce. I'm going to chop that up and I'm going to grill some zucchini that's going to take eight minutes. And um, that's what I'm going to nibble on when I am uh, chatting to all of you beautiful people. All right. Now, let's think dessert. All right. Let's pop this down over to here because I'm going to grab one of my Eco Plus clear bowls. These are the ones that make, these are magic. These bowls are literally magic. They make landfill vanish. 
and disappear completely. Because what they do is they take single-use plastic, they treat it, and they turn it into Tupperware products that are suitable um, to store food, to serve food, cold food, and hot food. I've been using these as my tomato soup bowl over winter. You can pop a warm potato salad, a hot rice. You can have them at the barbecue and throw in your chicken and steak and sausages and all of that sort of thing. I'm actually going to use this right now. I'm going to use, oh, there's a random shapeo piece in there. I'm not quite sure what that's all about. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to, maybe the next size up. There we go. I'm going to use this as my mixing bowl. Now, I am going to... Have you ever seen me make my own homemade muesli? Because I do. In the Micro Pro Grill, I just grab a layer of rolled oats and I toast that in the microwave oven in the grill position. Okay? So that's the position. If you're going to do sausages or chops or crispy skin salmon, tofu, veggies, rissoles, chicken wings, you pop it into the grill position. If you're going to turn it a quarter of a turn, now you're going to do potato bake, lasagna, moussaka, zucchini slice, scones, chocolate mud cakes, uh, frittatas, um, all sorts of things. Anything you do in the barbecue, like this is a barbecue that goes into the microwave. And most people then go, hang on, it's made out of metal, it doesn't go into the microwave. Yes, it's made out of metal. Yes, it goes into the microwave. Yes, it will brown a T-bone steak in nine minutes. It will do crunchy KFC. You do a crispy pizza bottom. You can do crunchy nachos. You can do chicken, fish, pork, salmon, uh, lamb, beef, um, whatever you want to do, veggies. Um, I do a great um, veggie bake in here as well. Anyway. What I'm going to do is, I've made my own homemade muesli. Grab the tab, grab the tab, peel the sink. So this is, these are the OG Tupperware food storage containers. They've been in production for 40 years. Tupperware have been selling these, organising people's pantries, saving waste, saving landfill, saving the whole household budget for 40 years, right? Now that's my homemade muesli. All I'm going to do is grab my, where did that cup measurement go? Here we go. Grab, oh, we'll just pop you over here. Grab my cup measurement. I'm going to measure out. Is now the right time to tell you I've never done this recipe before? <laughs> you, you, for those of you who have been watching me for a while now, you'll know I'll give everything a go once and hopefully it'll work out. I've had a few failures. I've had some great successes. All right, so we are going to, that's roughly two cups of homemade muesli. Now in here, I've, this is good muesli, right? It's got sultanas, cranberries, blueberries, banana chips, sunflower seeds, pepitas, uh, rolled oats, coconut. It's absolutely beautiful, right? So what I'm going to do is, let's move back out the way. I'm going to get, did you see, for those of you that have been watching, the other night I chopped up in my supersonic chopper, I threw in a couple of handfuls of sunflower seeds, a handful of pepitas, a handful of almonds, a handful of walnuts, a handful of Brazil nuts. I think that's everything, and I pulled the cord. I did have to pull the cord a few times, like about a dozen times, 16 times, and I've got almost my own homemade nut meal. I'm going to throw in, oh, not that much, just about a half a cup. That's just gonna help add some texture, help bind everything together. Speaking of binding everything together, guess what? <laughs> the trick! The piece de resistance is a tin of condensed milk. Now I'm going to grab my Tupperware can opener, open up the arms, pop that on, close up the arms. I know I've got the whole thing on when I can lift the whole thing up. Grab your can, turn it in a clockwise direction. Whether you're left-handed or right-handed, it will work in a clockwise direction. You do the full 360 and hear that click and you'll feel the tension ease back just a little, all right? Open up the arms and you think, it's not worked. What's he talking about? <laughs> you grab the beak, grab the little Tupperware beak, you pop that over the rim of the can, close up the, the arms, one hand on the can, the other hand lifts straight up. Now can you see? See how this has never touched any food? Never ever wash this. Never wash it. This in here is allergic to water. But yeah, there's no need to wash it. Look. 
that's condensed milk and it hasn't touched any food. You go over to the bin, open that up, look at that, not one drop of food on there that goes back into the drawer. If you never wash this, it will last you a lifetime. All right, so that's that. The other reason why I use that instead of the ring pull, because if you ever open the ring pull and you still cut yourself, or you still go, hang on, don't let them anywhere near the bin, whether you've got kids or dogs or partners that love to go bin diving, right? This way, they can go bin diving, they will not cut themselves, and, check this out. <laughs> yum, 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 you can lick the ring clean, and it will not cut yourself, right? Exactly the same as the top here. No sharp edges. Which means, I can now grab my Tupperware spatula, I won't cut my Tupperware spatula on the rim, and I can just pour that straight into there. <laughs> How easy is that? Now all I'm going to do now is, literally, it, I, it does work better on a flat surface, just mix that around, combine that, right? Now, if you think it's a little bit too sloppy, or you might need, you might sort of go, oh, does that need some more nuts, or does that need some dried apricots, or something like that, you might sort of go, well, actually, no, it doesn't. It's perfect. So all I'm going to do now is grab my Tupperware Micro Pro Grill. Now, remember, the reason that makes this unique is underneath here there's a transformer transformers more than meets the eye and underneath here converts everything over to heat it heats up the non-stick eterna up to 220 degrees so it doesn't matter if you're a wholesale customer or a retail customer you might want to choose to get the micro pro grill as your 70 percent off item or when you join tupperware if it's not on sale guess what it is now 25% off everything that's not currently on sale. Who wouldn't give it a go, right? Then when you place your first order, they will upload this to your rewards tab in Empower. That's the wholesale website. They'll upload this to order for free. It's an insulated thermal flask, keeping things cold for longer or hotter for longer. And if you place your order before this Monday, guess what? <laughs> you will get the black beetroot container for $10. These are only available for anybody that joins Tupperware right now. And it doesn't matter whether you join the $19.95 option and you get the Tupperware silicon bag for free. You might want to join through the $39.95 option and get the, smooth, the small smooth chopperator for free. Or you might want to join for the $99. You get all of this for free, and they throw in the little black bag, <laughs> and you get the big black bag, oh my goodness, everything's falling down, you get the big black bag on wheels with an extendable handle, how amazing is that, right? $99, you place, woo, you place your first order, you can qualify to get this for ten dollars, so long as your first order is before Monday, you'll also get that uploaded for free. And if you join through the person that you're watching, either myself or whoever's group you're watching in right now, when you receive these for free in the next seven days, you will also, if these two products had a baby, you would get the entire set of these for free. How awesome is that? You're allowed to get up to three sets now. <laughs> Send me a message if you want more information, I can definitely hook you up. It's amazing, right? Okay, so all I'm going to do is pour this straight into here. How amazing is that? It's a really good time to join Tupperware. You actually get 15 to 25% discount off the entire collection. And you get 15 to 30% earning capacity. And... Um, you can either do it as a part-time side hustle, you can do it full-time. Uh, it doesn't matter whether you're studying, working, travelling around Australia. Tupperware has gone national, so you can have customer base all over Australia. You can grow your team all over Australia, and it doesn't matter whether you move or where you live. So long as you've got a phone with an internet connection, you can sell Tupperware, absolutely. So. Out of the 25 million people that sell that live in Australia, right, less than 11,000 have an actual...
active consultancy business with Tupperware. And when you think that Australians are spending about a million dollars on Tupperware every week, why not give Tupperware a go? Do the hustle. Dun, 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 Aside hustle. Dun, 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 dun. Now, there is our um, homemade muesli sauce. I'm literally going to pop that straight into here. Oh, that's in the, the up position, which is the casserole position. I'm going to pop that in my microwave oven. For 20 minutes, I've got a 700 watt microwave oven, so you, if you've got a 900 or a 1000 watt microwave oven, you might only want to put yours on for 11 minutes or 13 minutes or something like that, alright? If you've got any questions or suggestions, please let me know. I'm going to hop online and answer all of your questions, alright? And until t this same tupper time tomorrow, same tupper channel, you know what you need to do, don't you? Forget your troubles and get happy and dance your curves away. Down, out and get happy. I'll see you all another day. <laughs> Thank you all for watching, everybody. Bye-bye. 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 Bye-bye.